So recently I did a review on a Toyota Camry. And although I liked the Camry, it had a new front end, a whole new body, and it was a good looking sporty car. Uh, it, it had a, a price loaded of about 35,000 for the four cylinder, 38,000 if you went for the V6. I began to think, you know, what else can you do for that kind of money? So I literally walked out of the dealership and walked about 200 feet into a Mercedes-Benz dealership where on the floor was a beautiful looking CLA 250. Uh, and it had a base price of about 33,000. And if you went for the formatic all wheel drive, it was about 35,000. So it seems like you could do the same, right? However, yes, there is a however. The however is when you start adding the options on the CLA 250, you will drive that price into the mid 40s. Uh, but there's so many different things you can customize on the car. There's different wheel packages, there's AMG packages. Uh, there's lots of things that you can do to kind of customize that car and make it your own. So if you're a little more of a performance enthusiast or you, you really embrace driving or how you feel in driving uh, the mercedes-benz is really not a bad way to go and if you decide maybe you don't need some of those packages because let's face it a basic mercedes is not cloth seats a manual transmission and roll up crank windows it's it's so much more than that it's the base mercedes is a fantastic looking interior so stick with me while we check out the cla 250. so the cla 250 has been with us now since 2014 featuring an inline four turbo with advanced high compression direct injection along with a multi-spark ignition that mercedes claims self-tunes itself while you drive now with all that, it adds up to 208 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. And with all that high torque, there is virtually no turbo lag because your turbo spools up before your peak torque, which leaves you with just seamless acceleration. Now with a base curb weight of about 3,300 pounds and a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission, uh, you should see a 0-60 to 60 time of about 6.3 seconds and a quarter pile time in the high 14s with the front wheel drive versus the 4-matic all-wheel drive which should see a time of about 6.5 seconds due to its extra 100 pounds. Now one thing is for sure, if you start adding bigger wheels and a panorama roof which will add an average of about 220 pounds or 1,000 kilograms, you'll be seeing 0-60 to 60 times and about that 6.9 second range in a quarter mile time that may top the 15s. So you may want to keep that in mind if performance is your thing. Now add all this in with struts and wishbone suspension up front with a multi-link at the rear. Now if you take things a step further then there's always the optional adjustable AMG suspension. So combine that with a sport mode and lots of different wheel options, including these two 17-inch wheels and several different 18-inch wheels, including the AMG wheels that come on this available sport package that has unique side skirts, a front fascia, and grill. And what you have is a CLA 250 that is far from being entry level. So as you make your way to this classy interior, the seat adjustments are right on the door panel, and it's outlined in a white contrast stitching. Now the base interior is what Mercedes refers to as MB text or faux leather. But this has the upgraded leather with white contrast stitching, lumbar support, and of course you have thigh support. Now the original gauge cluster in 2014 had a white background, whereas now it just uses a traditional black background with a really nice informational display. And you have this nice soft touch material that adorns the dash. Now Mercedes uses real material here with a black ash natural wood grain you see here along with three different aluminum trims as options or aluminum or a burl walnut. Now the center console is laid out very well of course you have your heated seat buttons right there and you have your dynamic select button for your eco your normal and your sport mode. You have plenty of storage, two cup holders, and of course you have dual zone climate control. Now 
Now, I'm usually a bigger fan of touchscreen-based systems in a car. However, the rotary knob with the back button was actually pretty easy to use, just rotating left or right, clicking to select where you wanted to go. Of course, you had, you know, an 8-inch screen. It was color with its uh, Cirrus Satellite or Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and everything was easy to use, easy to read. So as you make your way to the back seat, everything uh, quality-wise is exactly the same. You have nice contrast stitching, and your rear passengers should feel uh, a little cramped in this car compared to, say, a Camry or an Accord. It's dimensionally probably a little bit on the tight side, but uh, I still had ample room, and the seat was laid back pretty good. Now you have a real nice seat that feels good. And you have a center armrest with a pass-through, uh, as well as two cup holders. Uh, you also had rear vents for your passengers, as well as a power outlet and ashtray you have illumination and the this one has a panorama roof which is about a $1,500 option you have your trunk release right on the door panel in the front seat and you had a decent amount of trunk room and you do not have a spare tire in this car because you have run flat tires which on a cold day would be great because you never have to worry about changing it. So all your adjustments for the passenger seat are the same as the driver's seat. You have a glove box that's a little bit on the tight side. I think if you put your manual somewhere else, you might actually have some room for some storage, but it wasn't bad. And of course you have vanity mirrors with a light for both the driver as well as the passenger. Overall, it's Mercedes-Benz quality. You really can't go wrong. So while the CLA 250 is sure not the AMG CLA 45 with its 375 horsepower, we are still graced with a car with fantastic fit and finish, plenty of power, and MPGs of about 24 city and 36 highway. So Mercedes brought a car that is inexpensive but not built to be cheap, at a price that all your neighbors, friends, and peers will think was far more, making you the yardstick in which all others will be measured by. I can only imagine the conversation at work. Oh. You bought a new Camry. But did you see Jeremy's new Mercedes? Thanks for watching.